All right, guys. So took took days of searching. Nah, nah, just actually a short trip to the local gas station, and uh, I found it. Coors Banquet. It's the legendary beer uh, that I haven't tried, so uh, I'm gonna do a, a quick review of it. Let's see here. Can looks pretty good. Um, it's a quality can, uh, as far as I can tell. Seems pretty solid. Um, looks like it's probably made out of the same stuff that it, most other cans are made out of, but uh, it is recyclable, so that's good. Um, apparently, it was it was made in uh, 1873, so this stuff's pretty old. I don't know how it's going to taste, but let's see here. All right, so we cracked open the tab, did not break off, so that's usually a good sign. Hmm. You know, wait a minute, let me, let me try that again here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so, I'd say uh, I'd give it a, um, good out of ten. Um, pretty good. Um, but, uh, I think the mountain water kind of watered it down a little bit because it tastes sort of watery. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me, let me keep tasting it here. Maybe, maybe it's like a creeper kind of beer, you know? Hmm. Yeah, it kind of tastes like if you took like a regular beer and then left it out in the sun for a few days and then um, poured it into ice cube trays and froze it and then melted it again and then drank it. I'm pretty sure that's pretty close to the taste of this. Like like if you took some, some dogfish head 90 minute IPA and just yeah, left out in the sun, then froze it, melted it. I think it would taste pretty similar to this. Maybe just add, uh, like, a few cups of water to that also. Um, and a little bit of, um, a little bit of, of uh, cinnamon, because that's, that's what you need for a beer like this, is a teaspoon of cinnamon to, uh, balance it out. But, uh, yeah, all in all, I'd say uh, Coors Banquet is pretty good. I mean, it is liquid, so if you drink it, um, it does have alcohol in it, so, and it's a liquid, so it gives some nourishment to your body, except um, you get drunk also. If you drink more than a few, um, I'd have to advise against doing such a thing, but, um, uh, yeah, what you can do is... <clears throat> You, when you crack the beer open, you don't crack any more open after that, and that's called just drinking one beer at a time. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Um, see how it goes. I'll let you know. I'll do a review of that too. Um, but uh, yeah, so <clears throat> course banquet. Buy it. Don't buy it. Who cares? I don't think they care. I don't think anyone cares, but uh, at least you know that it is drinkable. I tested it. It's not, it won't kill you unless you drink way too much, but just stick to the, you know, the one crack, one crack the tab per day rule, and that's, that's all you can do. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this review. Next, I'm going to be reviewing um, Everclear. I don't know, somebody told me to you gotta, this, the trick with that stuff is you just gotta drink a whole cup of it at once, like a, fl a fluid cup. And, and that's how you get the real taste. But, um, yeah, I don't know. My friend always, he claims he knows what he's talking about. I trust him on this, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But, anyway, good night, y'all. Have a, have a blessed day.